This video is all about using toms in grooves. I'm gonna take three of the most famous grooves involving toms and show you how you can take those ideas and come up with your own grooves. Hey YouTube, my name is Andy and I'm here today with artofdrumming.com. Art of Drumming is not only a YouTube channel, but also a completely for free platform that offers a huge variety of drum courses from all genres and topics. Make sure to check it out and create your own account today. Now let's get started talking about toms. While you usually use toms in fill-ins, you can also implement them in grooves. So if you're looking for a groove variation that does not include the hi-hat or the right cymbal because you don't want this high frequency, you don't want the groove to be that present, toms are a great solution. They add a really nice texture and can really help you to either bring the mood down a little or also if you really dig your sticks into the heads, you can really get some extra energy without killing the rest of the band with just crashing cymbals or something. Also, if you just want to add some some extra sounds, some single hits on the toms, they can add a really, really nice tone to your playing. So now let's get into the first option. You might recognize this one as the intro groove of Blur's song, Song 2. The principle behind it is pretty simple. They just took a standard hi-hat groove, eighth note groove, and translated the hi-hat pattern to the rim of the floor tom. You can do this with every eighth note groove you want, and you can also play the drum head of the floor tom instead of just the rim. The sound is very different, and the feeling you get is very different, but both work very good as an alternative. So now let me show you a simple eighth note groove, first played on the hi-hat, then at the rim of the tom and then at the drum head. The next step would be to bring in single hits on the toms on the 16th notes between the 8th notes you're playing on the floor tom. It's also what they did with song 2 from Blur. They just were throwing in tom tom hits or also a floor tom hit in between the eighth note pattern on the floor tom. You can use this simple method to come up with all sorts of tom grooves. Simply choose one repetitive pattern you play on the floor tom or also on the rim of the tom, and then throw in single hits in between. Now let's go on with the second idea. This one features a more melodic approach. This groove is taken from Toto's song I Will Remember and is definitely one of the most iconic tom grooves ever. What really sticks out is the melody between the toms and the snare. So what you get in mind is not that eighth note pattern on the toms we had before, but it's more of a melody that you can sing along. If you want to create similar grooves, I would really recommend just trying to get a melody in your head. For example, let me show you one idea that I have in my head right now. It's quite simple and let me just sing it first. One, two, three, four, one. Boom, 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 boom. Let me just play it and straight away add bass drum and one and three and the snare drum and two and four. With this idea, you have endless possibilities. Every melody you could come up with, in my case, three notes for three toms, is playable in a groove context and 
by just adding bass drum and a backbeat, you can make this melody into a groove. Now let me show you one more step you can do to spice up the groove a little more. I'm gonna take the same melody I just had and I'm gonna fill all the 16th notes in between with ghostings on my snare. I really love this approach and I think it's a very musical way of coming up with grooves. You can really create very individual figures and make your drums sing when they are playing melodies. Now let's get into the third idea. This is a groove for the song 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover and is played by none other than Steve Gadd. You might say, well, this is not a Tom groove and you're totally right. But for me, this one single Tom hit on the floor Tom, it's a really, really massive part of this groove. And I really love the idea to have this one Tom hit in a groove that really creates some, some tension. Also, if you combine it with a break, it changes the groove completely. Let me show you just a simple eighth note groove on the hi-hat where I have a tom hit every bar on beat four and a quarter note break after that. You could also use this single hit as like an anchor for your soloing. So for example, when you just have this floor tom hit on beat four in every bar and the rest of the bar is really, really free, you can really make this like the, the point that glues all the stuff you play together. Now, besides playing the tom hit on beat four, you could also play it on another beat. For example, what I really like is to have it more in the middle of the bar on beat two and Those three principles really help me to create ideas of implementing toms in grooves. No matter if you want to stick with one of the ideas or if you want to combine two or even all three of them, make sure to make them your own and come up with your own ideas and create your very own grooves. If you like this video and if you want to see more of those, make sure to subscribe to our channel, ring the bell and also let us know which of the principles you like the most in the comments. See you in one of the next videos.